So here we go, session two. So now that you have an idea of who might be in your team, we are going to do a little bit of planning and a little bit of brainstorming. And we're going to think about our school. So last week we did a SWOT analysis. We also wrote down some keywords about our school. And we try to come up with a few responsibilities for people in the team. There's nothing wrong with wanting something, but you also need to know what you're going to do with it. You can't just have a tablet for the sake of having a tablet because the school next door has tablets, but you're not using them effectively. You haven't thought about what happens if there's no internet connectivity. How do the learners continue to work? These are things that you really need to start thinking about as you're moving forward. So let's say, for example, you are a school, you have nothing. Uh, all of a sudden you get an email. Your entire school is going to get smart classroom technology plus tablets, and you'll have internet connectivity throughout the entire school. What are you going to do with that information? Are you going to be like many, many teachers out there who are really, really trying to bring the curriculum alive by showing children PowerPoints? Or are you just going to use uh, and YouTube videos? Or are you just going to project lines on the whiteboard and do handwriting? How we can continue to make our school effective. And then I also wanted to just bring in this model. This is called the technology acceptance model. And it's quite simple. If we don't think it's going to be effective in our schools, we generally won't use it. We have to accept that, yes, technology fails. We have to accept that, yes, sometimes the PowerPoint, like what I wanted to do, it's not doing it right now. And we have to adapt and we need to as ICT champions and as ICT committees and as professional teachers, we have to think about that. We cannot continue to teach the exact same way we always have been teaching. We have to now adapt. We have to be the lifelong learners that we preach our children must be. So this is something for you to think about. The next one, now it's doing it. The next one is called the TPAC model. And the TPAC model is so important to teachers because it takes pedagogy, it takes technology, and it takes knowledge, and it puts it all together. And you can see the ring around it of all the other aspects that form part of moving forward with technology. So I want... We need you, not that we want you, we need you to be aware of different theories, TAM, SAMA, TPAC, as you move forward. Think about the image of the effective school and of course the Bloom's taxonomy, how are we going to move forward? Do not compare yourself to another school. Yes, there is another school that you might aspire to be like. Or there's a teacher that you who inspires you, that you want to be like him. But we have to think about our context. We have to think about what we've got in our school and how we can move forward. Action plan. This is a very basic action plan. I'm not going to give you a, a very detailed one. Obviously, they are very di they are different um, formats. I'm going to show you a few examples. But I just want to give you a f some background if you don't already know. With your action plan, you've got your goals. You've got specific goals, you've got objectives, and you have a time frame. So, so there's the saying, a dream is nothing without a time limit, something like that. Um, a goal is just a dream without a time limit. So yes, we can say by the end of November, we would have written our letters to XYZ companies to get feedback for the following year. 
or by um, the end of October, we will have experimented with online um, digital assessments. So this is something for you to think about as you move forward now with your action plan. So like I was saying, you've got your specific goals, you have your objectives for each of those goals, because um, that's your deliverable. That is something that is going to make sure that you actually get to what you want. What are the steps you are going to take? What are the tasks you are going to do? And how do you know if you are successful or not? We are successful in goal number one because our learners now understand how to um, add semicolons using the shift key. Something simple. Or we are successful in this aspect because now our children know how to create beautiful PowerPoint presentations. Or we are successful in another aspect because our teachers know how to teach scratch coding program. So you have to think about all of these things because this is going to make you feel like you've accomplished something. Your success criteria is going to make you feel like you have, you've succeeded. You, you've done the thing that you needed to do. You set out, you said this is our goal and we've done it. We've completed it. And again, the time frame. So that could be one month, that could be even two years, depending on what your actual goal is. It could be a term depending on your goal. So your time limit depends on your goal or your time frame depends on your goal. And your tasks build up to your goal and your success criteria lets you know that you are completely on the right track. So if you have your plan, make it visual. Everybody understands this is where we are heading. This is our goal. This is what we want. This is how we're going to achieve it. It's so good and motivating when you see the teacher who did not want to do this. She was not interested. He didn't care at all. But when he's motivated and motivating others and suddenly he is doing all the professional development, that is a win. That is something that you should celebrate at your school. So I really appreciate your time. I hope you've taken something small away from this, even if it's just to know that we cannot just do anything for the sake of doing it. We need to understand why we are doing it. If you are like me and you love Simon Sinek, you've read uh, Start With A Why because if you know exactly why you're doing something, everything else becomes more valuable.